I stumbled upon a new tool published on GitHub a few days ago that can recover censored pixelized text. It's designed to recover lost passwords from screenshots, but in theory it should work on any text obfuscated using Mosaic. I always thought it was pretty much impossible to reconstruct an image this way, but I seem to have been proven wrong. The Python tool DPix is only in early development, but is already able to decrypt many censored text screenshots. I tried out the software myself and tested a few examples. This technology can definitely become embarrassing for companies who censor internal documents this way. It actually works in quite a simple way. These mosaic filters display the censored part in lower resolution, but always blur the same content in the same way. This is why text is especially vulnerable to reversing this filter. The blurred image can't be anything in the universe like a photo could be, but can only come from a limited set of characters. The alphabet, the numbers 0 to 9, or a special character. Now if we supplied every possible combination of two characters using the same font and size, and blurred it the same way, we could guess the closest possible match for each part of our target screenshot. This is exactly what DPix does. It takes what's called a De Bruyne sequence of expected characters, which is a clever way to arrange all characters so each combination only appears exactly once. To take it even further and get better results, we could also provide the same sequence both spaced and close. The developer, I think his name is Sipke Melema, also provides a few sample images to test the software on. It worked quite well for these included screenshots, but it didn't seem to work nearly as well with my own pictures. The best result I got was this using my channel name SensiClick. You can make out the L and I, but everything else remains scrambled. Maybe it's the mosaic filter I used. Other users on GitHub seem to have similar issues as well. Again, this is in very early development, was just published a few days ago and might be improved with time. But it clearly already does work under the right circumstances. If you want to try it yourself, download the tool from GitHub. You need to have the programming language Python installed. Then first install the package installer pip and lastly the imaging library pillow. All you have to do to run the software is open a command prompt or PowerShell, type python, the file path to dpix if you're not already in the folder. You can just drag the executable into the window, next dash p followed by the path to the pixelated screenshot, dash s and the path to the screenshot of the De Bruyne sequence, and dash o followed by the output file. After a few seconds, or sometimes minutes, of calculating, dpix should export the result. I find this capability of this whole thing pretty unsettling on the one hand, but on the other hand it's a good learning experience. Always censor text using an opaque color. This isn't the first time censoring image distortion has been reversed. And don't use the colored markers on iOS for blacking out text. They are always a little transparent. Anyway, Take care and I'll see you in the next video.